Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know It All. So first of all, I apologize for the sound of the blower, but it's unbelievably hot. It's 34, this is actually the coolest day we've had in quite a while in, in Georgia. It's been very, very hot. Uh, so anyway, I am, I am going to do some testing about this car. This is a 2021 Model Y, but we purchased it in December of 2020, but officially it's a 2021 model, whatever. But anyway, it comes with radar. So it was an older Model Y, and there was some debate, like most of us believe that the radar system is not, um, not functional anymore with full self-driving beta. But at Green the Only on Twitter, and if you're not following him, you should definitely follow him anyway. I'm gonna pull over for a second while I explain this. <laughs> then we'll engage full self-driving. Anyway, at Green the Only found someone's service report from when they brought their car in, and the reason why the car was failing was because of a glitch in the radar. I'll post a couple of screen grabs from the Twitter conversation. So people were saying, wait, isn't radar not enabled on full self-driving beta? And then other people said, oh no, it definitely is for cars that support full self-driving beta. Uh, sorry, that for cars that have the radar in them, you know, so they said that it definitely works. So somebody suggested that somebody just go and cover their uh, radar up with aluminum foil and find out. So I will put a picture of this on top here, but basically what I did was I put down some, some saran wrap so that it wouldn't scratch the paint, and then I folded over a piece of aluminum foil three times and used some painter's tape and, and pretty solidly put it on there. If I see it go flying off, we'll know the experiment is over. But anyway, what I'm gonna try to do is navigate to Walmart, which involves obviously a neighborhood, and then pulling out onto a big road, and then making a left turn, and going on some big traffic, and then on the highway. So it will have a variety of of different circumstances to drive in and the goal is going to see whether there is a problem whether this thing glitches out or behaves badly or whatever it is uh, you know we're just gonna see if it behaves the same I know pretty much how 10.12.2 is working at this point so anyway that is the goal I believe hopefully I should just put it into yep there we go I'll put it into oops oh, put it into big mode so you can see here all right, so the goal will be to obviously do no interventions if possible. I obviously will take over. If you don't know about full self-driving beta, you are definitely required to be in charge of the car. My left hand, which you probably can't see, is actually on the steering wheel, or my right hand. One of the hands is on the steering wheel at all times just to make sure that it's working correctly, and you'll see it will actually bother me. Uh, thus far, I have not seen any very variety. Now, when we get on the highway, it goes back to the old stack, which is the pre-beta stack so that is one part that I'm really curious about when we get on the highway whether it will start to glitch out and, and cause problems because maybe the highway stack is still using radar I personally don't think that the the full self-driving beta stack is using radar but again what could be happening is that the radar is actually streaming information it's just being ignored by full self-driving beta and so it could still glitch out you could still have a situation where the where the radar is saying I'm not getting good signal or I'm not able to like you know produce what I'm supposed to. This is actually behaving a little better than it used to. One problem here is that it still thinks it's 25 until we get up to this 50 mile an hour zone. But anyway, so it is quite possible that the radar is still active. It's still turned on and feeding data to <clears throat> the full self-driving computer, but the computer's just ignoring it because it's like I don't really care whether you're data or not but that would still mean that if the radar was not functionally connected it would cause you know it would cause some issues and the, the, the hard the other software pieces on the car could say hey this is a bad thing we can't have this because it's not smart enough to know that it's not necessary so anyway I had a, had a rough guess that'd be what I would be guessing that that would be what's going on uh, thus far again driving beta I have seen an absolute difference between this the visualization looks the same I'm gonna see if like we see hopefully we'll pass by a parking lot or something with multiple cars so that we'll be able to and it obviously break for that car up there very well um, sorry if there's something rolling around there's a bag in the back so anyway this is a uh, goodness let's roll this down just a little bit okay so now we're gonna make a left <laughs> I'm going to just go ahead and take over just to get through the light so we're not stuck here watching. Okay, dude. I have zero idea why there is so much traffic on the road here. Anyway, I did intervene there, but that was literally just to get us through the light so I didn't have to sit there. It's a very, very long light. 
and I knew that the full self-driving computer was going to be a little hesitant. So anyway, we're on. You can see the visualization all looks pretty much identical to what it did before. I'm not noticing any difference in driving behavior whatsoever, so it seems to be pretty good to me. And when we get up to the end up here, we'll get to a place where we'll turn on the highway briefly. Um, oh no, actually it won't. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna reroute us. <laughs> it's gonna take us down a city street, but I'm gonna put us onto the highway and then re-engage the, the autopilot. So again, the point of this is not to prove that full self-driving beta is the, the greatest thing since sliced bread, which it is, but to, uh, to determine where and in what circumstances the radar is working or not working. So this is actually really interesting because this truck, I'm <laughs> a little keeping my foot near the brake pedal at this point because obviously the, um, the, the logs are sticking out well past the end of this truck. I've never actually dealt with this before, uh, but it seems to be respecting the correct distance. Like if the car tries to sneak underneath here, because see, it, it obviously thinks that there's a pretty good distance between us and the truck visualization wise, but also it seems to be respecting a proper distance between me and the back of those logs. So we'll see as it drives faster. I'm actually really, really curious what it's going to do in terms of keeping its distance. So actually a little extra experiment we get to see. <laughs> I don't know how often you see log trucks with big logs sticking out the back. Obviously we are not making any, we're not breaking any kind of a speed record here, <laughs> but that's okay. I would go into the other lane normally, but whatever. I, you know, the point of this is to test this out. So uh, anyway, so it does seem to be working in terms of keeping a distance behind this truck and uh, that's, oh gosh, it's a little nerve wracking. <laughs> you, you don't want the thing like riding right up on its butt, but it actually, you know, even though it's obviously visualizing it without the logs, because it probably just simply doesn't have that in its uh, rendering software capabilities. These are all relatively rudimentary. It's like sedan, SUV, small truck, large truck. You know, there's not a pedestrian. The pedestrians all look identical. The dogs all pretty much look identical. So, uh, so anyway, you know, so the, the, the the actual visualizations are not intended to be completely realistic. It's more along the lines of what it's actually interacting with. So it seems to be interacted relatively well thus far. And all right, Ooh, okay, that was interesting. <laughs> Little jerk there, but then I think it was trying to follow that truck, but then it realized that it didn't, it uh, shouldn't do that. So all right, and obviously handling the traffic. That was cool. It turned that thing gray as soon as it was, so the lead car ahead of you is kind of a dark gray, and it turned it a dark gray, like as soon as it got halfway into our lane. So that was actually very cool. So uh, so the highway intersection is coming up, up here right after the Sakura sign and the Athens Church sign. Um, so anyway, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm gonna take over and get over into the right-hand lane and go onto the highway just to force it to go onto the highway for a minute and see if we have some issues with uh, with that. In fact, actually, what I might do here is just let's go ahead and navigate to work. All right. Yeah. Just because that'll put us on the highway for longer, so I'll have a longer chance, and then I'll cancel it because, again, this isn't a test of full self-driving beta's completeness. <laughs> it's working very, very well. 10.12.2 is working really well. Elon Musk said 10.13 is even better, so I can't wait. And 11, which is the single stack. If you haven't seen these videos, that they're all on my channel. Um, anyway, I'm gonna disengage and get over here so I can force this thing to go on the highway. Cool. Uh, all right, so so I'm gonna re-engage. It should uh, put us, yep, yeah, okay. So it will navigate us onto the highway, at which point you'll notice, if you're, again, if you're not familiar with this, it will go from its, uh, this visualization, which is very, you know, full self-driving beta -y with the red lanes and all that stuff. Somewhere around the time that we merge up there, it will go from this to uh, the older stack looking thing. That's the point at which it may be not happy about the radar, so I'm gonna have to pay really close attention. We should find out relatively quickly whether it's happy or not. So, all right, there's nobody around, so we're good. There's no issues. And right there, you saw it, it just shifted over. So now I'm curious, we're gonna let it drive for a mile or so on this. It, even though it's gone to the old visualization settings, um, it sure seems to be doing a good job. I mean, it's, it's making, it's 
that's it decided to make that lane change but I did not do that so it seems to be behaving just fine completely ignoring whether or not the radar is actually sending out information clearly my car is not it doesn't care so what I might do I might get off the highway up here and actually turn off false self-driving beta and put it back on the old school false self-driving so just a second let me get again I, I'm disengaging just so I can do the experiment but what I'm going to do is get off the road and stop the car and turn off false self-driving beta if I can remember how to do that I'm pretty sure I, I mean I never have any reason to turn it off but I'll, I'll turn off the beta and then go back on the highway and back home again and see, I, it won't drive very well on city streets, but at least on the highway, it should be able to work. And if the radar is actually functional when it's not in beta, it will probably be very upset and complain that it's unable to see it. So anyway, so I'm gonna try to get off of here and uh, find some place. I wonder if I can do it while we're actually in motion. So let's see, autopilot. Full self driving beta, turn it off. Okay, so now it's off. So let's see. I'm gonna put it in park for just a second, just to make sure it kind of resets itself. Okay, and then we'll put it in drive. And so, I mean, honestly, it still looks the same. It's not complaining. Um, let me cancel and um, I'll just go. Where did it go? Um, oh, go to. Just something that I've gone to before. So anyway, I think what it'll do is try to loop itself back onto the highway. So again, not gonna be using beta, so I'm not gonna try to drive on these city streets. That's not good without beta being involved. But what I can do is get back on the highway. And again, you know, like I said, if you wanna see my full self-driving beta drives, I've got an entire playlist actually of that. So um, you can do that, but that's not the point of what we're doing here today. We are merely testing out whether the radar all right so anyway so as i go back on the highway and engage the autopilot which is not full self-driving beta anymore the question will be whether it gets upset about not having radar on so i don't know the answer to this question so at this point uh, you can see from the visualization it's not using beta it's using the whole you know the ap thing and it should we have plenty of room to get on the highway so it always merges late this is one of those issues with uh <laughs> with uh, autopilot it's, it's not the greatest i'm hoping when they get to version 11 that that's one of the big fixes is it'll merge more appropriately since there's no traffic around it was no big deal and i let it do it but it's a little scary sometimes so all right so i'm not in beta it's not complaining at all so whether or not the radar is doing anything in terms of actually still functional as in it might still be connected to power it might be pushing out its uh, pulses and it might be receiving information in this case it would be complete garbage because it's shooting at aluminum foil three like i said three layers of aluminum foil it wouldn't be able to see much of anything and the fact that it's not complaining at all means that even if it's operational the entire full self-driving stack is ignoring autopilot stack in this case is ignoring what's coming out of radar so it makes no difference whatsoever so that is a pretty clear experimental empirical evidence that this is uh yeah i mean uh and now of course because we're not in beta anymore it's not going to do navigation anymore so fascinating really really interesting that that all right so i'm going to cancel out of that but yeah, really fascinating that, uh, that that's where we are. Um, so I don't know, I don't know if there's any other real experimental stuff that I could do to prove it much more aside from, I guess, going in, opening up the bumper and removing the radar entirely, which might not make it real happy. So, but anyway, full self-driving beta. Oh, okay. So that was interesting. I was able to take it out of full self-driving beta. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so I had to re-agree to everything again. So let me see if, uh... oh yeah, it's probably not gonna be. Well, anyway, you can see the visualization now. So full visualization is there, no problems whatsoever. It's driving perfectly fine without 
uh, without the radar being accessible. Um, I, again, I suppose if I had like a some sort of radar receiver that I could see what the pulses are, I could see whether it was pulsing or not, but I don't have access to those tools as far as I know. So, <laughs> I mean, if, if somebody does, let me know, especially if you live in the Atlanta, Georgia area, because I will be more than happy to like borrow that and we can like, we can see if we're actually getting some radar signal out of it or not. Because that would be interesting to know whether it's even active. I would honestly think that it would make some sense if it's not going to be used at all for them to disable the power to the radar, but it also might be a situation where um, it's just there because maybe for legal compliance reasons it has to be there or in case they had to roll the software back or something along those lines. So my guess <clears throat> from all of these tweets, uh, from the Green the Only's like, tweet that showed the screen grab of the service issue and then what the problems were, my guess is that the radar is still operational in the sense that it has power and it's doing its thing, but it's completely disassociated from what full self-driving or older autopilot are doing. Now, I don't have, because I've got the beta software, it might have, you know, basically it's running a stack that might ignore the vision, the uh, radar part of it. So if you happen to not have full self-driving beta and you want to do the exact same experiment, again, I just put some saran wrap over the hole that's on the left near the, the light up here. It's, it's the bigger of the holes. The smaller holes are ultrasound. And um, the big hole on the front left, at least where my car is, it's like a puck about like yay big. Uh, that's the radar and that's like a hole so they can shoot out through it So anyway, if you want to take like some saran wrap and take some aluminum foil and put it over it Get some painters tape so you don't damage your car. Obviously that's on you. I'm not responsible for that That's your experiment. But anyway, if you want to do all of those things then Without full self-driving beta and then drive around and see if you get complaints about the radar You would probably find out like almost instantly you would probably say something like you know degraded and Ever. But if you do find that out, uh, I will be happy to post your video, um, and, you know, with credit, obviously. So I would be fascinated to find out myself. And again, really sorry about the amount of noise going on, but it's 37 degrees out in centigrade. I mean, geez. <laughs> that, by the way, is body temperature. If you don't do centigrade, it's really hot. And it's been like this for a solid week, like no breaks. <clears throat> Even in the morning, it's not nice right now. Um, so anyway... Uh, I, let me know what you think about this. I don't know if there's any other experiments I could do without having a radar receiver or alternatively somebody else with a vehicle that doesn't have full self-driving beta installed because then we could do the same thing with that and see if the radar is still working with that. So let me know what you think. I, I, I think this was a fairly successful experiment in, in the sense that I did not get any sort of information that indicated that the radar being blocked was causing any problems whatsoever. So, all right, everybody have a lovely day and let me know what you think. And of course, if you have other ideas, also let me know that. Thank you very much to my patrons on Patreon. Check out all the stuff in the description for ways you can support the channel, you know, the deal, merch store, etc., etc. And in the meantime, everybody have a lovely weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.